Hello, my friend. It's good to be with you again today. The past few weeks, we've been learning about Mary and how an angel comes to her all of a sudden and tells her she's going to have a baby. And she's very surprised by this news because she hadn't expected to have a baby at all. And so she goes to her cousin Elizabeth, who also is going to have a baby, and they talk together and sing together about how God is doing mighty things in the world. So I wonder, how did Joseph feel about all this? Joseph is the man who was supposed to become Mary's husband. They were engaged. While the stories we have about Mary come from a storyteller named Luke. And you know what? Luke doesn't tell us very much about Joseph. He doesn't say anything about what Joseph was thinking or how Joseph was feeling. But we have another storyteller who tells us about Jesus and the life of Jesus and stories about Jesus' family. That storyteller is named Matthew. And Matthew says, don't worry, I'll tell you about Joseph, what he was thinking, what he was feeling, how he came to learn that Mary was going to have a baby. So let's hear what Matthew has to say about Joseph. Joseph was engaged to Mary. One day, he heard that she was going to have a baby. He was very confused by this news. He hadn't even married her yet. And already she was going to have a baby? He went to bed that night thinking about what he was going to do next. Even though he was worried, he eventually fell asleep. In his dream, an angel came to him. Don't worry, Joseph, said the angel. Don't be afraid of becoming Mary's husband. She is having a baby because the Holy Spirit is working through both of you. When her son is born, name him Jesus. Jesus means God saves. The baby will be such an important part of God's work in the world, reminding the people that God is still with them. The next morning, Joseph awoke thinking about his dream. He was amazed. When he was a child, his parents had told him stories of their ancestor Joseph, who had learned things from God through dreams. He also remembered the story of Joseph's father Jacob, who saw angels in a dream climbing a ladder to heaven. But even though he had the same name as his ancestor, Joseph never thought an angel would speak to him through a dream. This was incredible. But now, he knew what he was going to do. He would take Mary as his wife, and they would name their baby Jesus. Joseph knew whatever was going to happen next would not be easy, but he was grateful to be able to play this small part in God's work in the world. The End I don't know that I've ever had an angel visit me while I was sleeping. Maybe I have. Who knows? I do know that sometimes I will be wondering about something or worrying about something, and then I will go to sleep and wake up the next morning and feel better about it and know what I need to do. Sleep can be helpful that way. I'm glad Joseph had a helpful dream that helped him know what to do. This week, as we approach Christmas, we light the candle of joy. What's joy? When I think of joy, I think of bubbles, like excitement or happiness bubbling up inside me, sometimes for no reason at all. Other times when I think about joy, I think about the roots of a tree growing down deep into the earth, secure and solid, like knowing that what I'm doing is the right thing and what I need to be doing, even though the world may be uncertain and I may not know what happens, what's going to happen next. 
What does joy feel like to you? I hope Joseph felt joy at knowing that he was a part of God's work to bring hope and peace and love to people. Will you light the candle of joy with me? So we are going to take the third candle and put it on our wreath. Right here. And then we are going to take the word joy, J-O-Y, and put it under the candle, right there. So now we have lit the candle of hope, the candle of peace, and the candle of joy. This week, I hope you feel joy. Let's pray together. Please read along or have a grown-up read along. Dear God, Help me hear your call in surprising places and feel joy in surprising moments. Amen. The text for this story was prepared by me, Catherine Ray. Illustrations are by Ralph Voltz from A Manger Miracle.